Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Steve Billings with Navistar. I've been with the company now since 2008. Thank you to everybody that's in attendance here, all the DOTs, all of the suppliers, um, e even our competitors. Um, we're all in the same battle. We're out to earn your business. We appreciate your business. Thank you for coming. I hope this uh, event is uh, a good educational opportunity for you. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details, especially I'm not going to go into products today. Um, you know, as they say, go to the website. Um, but more importantly, uh, reach out to your local dealer. Reach out to, you know, on our website, we've got our names out there. So if you need us, we'll be glad to come and visit with you. First of all, a big thank you to the organizations that are in attendance here. Uh, we really appreciate uh, allowing us to get in here this year. Secondly, um, I want to introduce a few folks uh, on the team. The map up here shows how we're broken out in regards to our vocational sales team for government, DOT, um, cities, towns, and states. So uh, first of all, Mr. Randy Jones. So Randy right now is handling the, uh, the, the blue sections um, on the map. So uh, Randy, does anybody know your big announcement? Randy is retiring. After a long career with Navistar, his last day will be the end of July. So uh, I want to thank Randy for all the years of service, um, great reputation knowledgeable man and a lot of assets uh, will be walking out but uh, some of us are going to pickpocket him before he leaves so thank you randy um, next on the team would be logan schultz logan and logan handles everything to the west so uh and actually in the midwest so are you ever home for the folks that are out west uh feel free to reach out to logan directly we have a new member to our team mr james ambrosius james is handling the northeast section as well as the upper midwest and of course, I'm Steve Billings. I handle everything in the south. Um, you can see everything in the uh, green section there that I'm covering today. I'm sure everybody's heard about Volkswagen coming to America and buying Navistar. It's a one year anniversary. I can say this is a great thing. We are excited. I've been involved with a lot of the folks from the Volkswagen staff from both Man and Scania and the technology, the changes, the platforms are going to get better and better. Um, so product will be touchable. You'll be able to see the changes. We are excited. Um, there's a lot more changes coming and there are a lot of good changes. So we're very excited as an organization. And as far as Trayton goes, which is the parent company, you can see all of the brands that they represent on both screens, Man, Scania, Volkswagen, as well as now International Trucks. And at this point in time, we are not changing our name. It will remain International Truck and Engine. Any questions about the Trayton acquisition for International? What are we doing in the United States? Well, if, if you've heard and been reading the press, we've opened up a state-of-the-art truck manufacturing facility in San Antonio, Texas. And the truck plant, when it gets up to full speed, will be over 228 trucks per day. So we're really excited about that. Now, back in the old days, some of you may remember, we had the plant in Garland. Um, but that plant's been shut down for at least six years now. Um, we still have the plant in Springfield, Ohio, but that's primarily producing our CV units. All models, including the electric truck, will be produced in San Antonio. We will continue to build trucks in Escobedo. We have our engine plant in Huntsville, Alabama. We have a new integrated powertrain coming just like a lot of other folks, we're getting better at that market. So that's all going to be assembled and manufactured in Huntsville, Alabama. New business models. You know, everybody's talking about, you know, zero emissions. Yes, we're there. We've got to address it. Digitalization. You know, what all does that mean in the truck world? Well, it means do you have access to your trucks to be able to make a decision in five minutes or less? Are you getting the data that you need? As far as zero emissions, you know, I could spend hours up here talking about our EMV product. Um, if you have questions, please reach out to Randy, Logan, James, or myself, or your local dealer, and we'll be glad to get you as much details as possible. Uh, there's also a tour of the EMV truck that is being passed around the United States. So check with your local dealer. If you'd like to go see it, the truck will be there along with the trailer that talks about the manufacturing of the process of that truck. New announcement. I'm sure several in the room have heard, you know, over the years, we introduced a concept called on-command connection. Raise of hands in the room. Who from the state, government, DOT, highway is using on-command connection in our trucks today? Two, three, 
Wonderful. Four. Okay, what is on-command connection? Okay, I spent most of my time on the retail side working with big vocational customers, a lot of dump trucks, a lot of mixers. The key to on-command connection is the fact that you've got the ability to see a problem before it almost happens. Secondly, if you're looking at it and you see that it's not detrimental, you can make that decision. Or if you see that, hey, I need to stop this truck before major damage is inflicted. I can do that. I've got the ability to communicate. I can see the warning signs. Plus, with on-command connection, you've got the same access to the same health report that every international truck dealership uses to run their shop with. We're not hiding anything. If you want a tour of this application, once again, reach out to your local international dealer. Reach out to me. I still track two large fleets today of their dump trucks to make sure that you know everything's good. It is an amazing tool. Going forward, though, all of our trucks will have the device in it. That device will come with five years of free service. So you will get the device. You access it via the web, get you signed up with passwords. You can go in and see your trucks 24 hours a day. You can run data reports. You can run more reports than you want to look at. But there are some very good ones in that portfolio. Any questions on on-command connection? In addition to that, we not only monitor our trucks, but we can also see all other OEM trucks. We can read Freightliner, Kenworth, Peterbilt, Mac. We wrote the software. We've got all of the ASC codes, over 14,000 ASC codes to track with. We also offer you, the customer, the ability for I360. I360 is a service portal. So when your truck goes into the shop, you don't always have to pick up the phone to call the shop. You can get access straight to the portal. You can see where your truck is at in the repair process. And finally, on electrification, the EMV. Um, our entire facility for development, testing, and all of that is in Detroit. Uh, the truck is being manufactured in San Antonio, Texas. Um, today, this is the model that we have um, for everybody in the room that runs a PTO. We do have a PTO option, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not what I would want to come out and talk to you about. We need the next generation to come online. And we're testing it now. So as soon as that is passed, we will have a good PTO option for this product. Any questions about our electrification trucks? Thank you once again. I appreciate it. Enjoy the show. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by the booth. The preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.